After having so much success with the shiitakes, I decided to try growing some pink oyster mushrooms. I ordered a kit from Hernshaw Farms and it came wrapped up in this package. Once I removed the plastic wrap, I went and checked out their growing instructions on their website. They basically said that the grow kit needs bright light in a damp or moist location. They also say to slit the bag along the widest portion and then tuck the top of the bag under the bottom. I'm pretty sure I may have ended up cutting the bag wrong, but I wasn't sure what they meant by tucking it under, so I ended up cutting the top and adding in another slice along the side where I saw a baby mushroom. I noticed that this block was much softer than the shiitakes and needed the bag to remain held together. I placed it in the same container and made sure to mist it with water a few times a day. These are tropical mushrooms, so humidity and light are key. By day three, I noticed a few tiny mushrooms popping up and decided to add a little water to the container to help increase the humidity. This was something that Hernshaw Farms recommended on their site and I really think it helped. By day five, the mushrooms were almost completely done growing. They were a really bright pink color and I could see gills forming. I unfortunately didn't take footage from the day before, but these really got this big overnight. They grew so much faster than the shiitakes. Once I saw the small ones pop up, it was only about three days before they were ready to harvest. On day six, it was time to harvest the mushrooms. I noticed that they were starting to lose a lot of their color, but I read online that this is normal and signifies that they're ready to be harvested. As you can see, the stems are elongated and the caps are kind of small, so I'm positive that they didn't receive enough light while growing. I'm still not sure if the way I cut the bag had anything to do with it, but next time I try pink oyster mushrooms, I will make sure to increase the light. Either way, they are ready to harvest, so I just grabbed the clusters and twisted a little to remove them from the block. This was pretty easy to do and it only took a few minutes to get them all. These are all the mushrooms that I was able to harvest from the first flush. I decided to cook some in just olive oil, salt, and pepper to see how they tasted and I was very pleasantly surprised by how meaty they were. Just like with the shiitakes, you can get multiple flushes, so I placed the block back into the container and continued to miss it multiple times a day. It only took about three days for the new mushrooms to start growing. Overall, I got three flushes, each smaller than the last, but now I know for next time to improve the growing conditions for a better harvest.